In today's video, we're gonna go over the best solo builds for the brand new seven star terror raid event for Rillaboom that's just been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The first phase of this brand new seven star terror raid will be taking place from the 28th of July, running over that weekend until the 30th. So we have a little bit longer to prepare for this event than we normally would with the seven star terror raid. To start us off in the video, we're gonna take a quick overview of the Rillaboom. And you can see here that the Rillaboom will indeed have a normal terror typing. So that is the big caveat to this raid. Normal types are pretty difficult to hit because they're only super effectively hit from fighting types. So that really narrows down the scope with what Pokemon we can utilize to have super effective damage against it. The Rillaboom, of course, will be level 100. It will have its hidden ability, which would be Grassy Surge. For those of you that don't know, that will summon a grassy terrain to the field for five turns. After that five turns, it will go away after that, but it will boost the power of grass type attacks by a significant amount as long as that grassy terrain is on the field. So making Rillaboom even stronger with those base grass type attacks. Its HP number, because of that 30 times multiplier to its HP, will be sitting around that 10,000 HP mark. So that's a total that we're gonna have to beat for this raid base speed it's not the fastest of pokemon but it's not a slouch either it has a base 85 speed stat so that's something just to consider especially if you are running things like taunt or other things to kind of disrupt its setup once we know what it is now rillaboom's attacking options you can go through the list the more likely ones that we're going to see on it it is definitely going to have a grass type attacking move and you would suggest it's probably going to have drum beating its signature attack of a wood hammer but it might have both of those moves we've seen previous seven star terror raids carry both stab attacks big ones that can do a lot of damage in especially because they will be taking advantage of the grassy terrain from that grassy surge ability as well it could happen but i would say more than likely we probably just see that drum beating move over the wood hammer but there's a possibility of both there stomping tantrum is a ground type attack that does have access to now i'm not convinced it's going to have stomping tantrum but it is a possibility it does get access to earthquake and bulldoze as well but the big problem with those moves is those moves have a 50% damage reduction when the grassy terrain is on the field so they kind of conflict with the hidden ability of grassy surge that the Rillaboom has whereas Stump and Tantrum hits through that with no problem at all so if we are going to see a ground type attack on the Rillaboom it is going to be Stump and Tantrum it does get access to knockoff so that is something that can be very disruptive especially to our setups if we're relying on things like shell bells Things like that, our item getting knocked off could be a little bit of a problem. And then it does get access to acrobatics to be able to hit those big threatening fighting types that are gonna be detrimental to its normal terror typing. It also gets fighting coverage. So things like Drain Punch, Hammer Arm are options that we probably will see on there. Drain Punch could be a bit problematic for restoring its health, of course. Hammer Arm's a big one. If it does use that, then it will be dropping its speed every time it does use that. For its normal type attacking moves. Now it does get a few. One of them could be Facade, which does take advantage if you are affected by a status condition. It does double in power, and then that boosted with its normal terror type on top of that it could be quite powerful. Body Slam is an option. It's not the most powerful of normal type attacks, but it does have that added bonus of being able to paralyze the opponent. And then we look at Boom Burst, which has been talked about a lot, of course. It is a special based attacking move. It hits all the targets, but obviously Rillaboom being the drummer Pokemon, the musical Pokemon, Boom Burst being a sound based move, it does make sense that we do see something like Boom Burst. It fits quite nicely on the narrative of what Rillaboom and its character is, uh, but it is a special based move. So it won't be hitting as hard as some of the other alternatives. Giga Impact is something that it does get, but it has a recharge turn. Whether or not we see that in this raid, but it is worth covering just to note it is an option. Then its setup options, it does have a lot of good setup. That's going to be the one big thing about Rillaboom and kind of getting to that raid when it goes live and then figuring out, really nailing down what the solo builds are going to be better going into this raid. But its setup options, it has a lot. It has sword stands, it has bulk up. So they're two options that I could definitely see on it. it also gets access to Screech as well. To lower the defensive stat of you by two stages every time it uses it, maybe making its physical type attacking moves a lot more powerful, a lot more potent as well. It does get access to taunt, so it has a way to shut down any setup from our side of the field. And the other thing to note, if it does go down a boom burst, 
root. It's going to have to boost that special attack in some way. And a nice option for it to do that with is growth. And of course, it boosts attack and special attack by one stage every time you use it. But if you combine that with Sunny Day, the growth becomes a plus two in attack and plus two in special attack under the sun so you could see that combination turn zero where we see a sunny day and a growth happen with the Rillaboom putting itself onto plus two attack and special attack straight away which would make it very very scary then that boom burst would become a big big problem so we'll have to look at options around that it's definitely something to consider and I think that's probably the most scary prospect out of everything that we've got from this list the growth sunny day with the boom burst and then the drum beating and all of the other kind of coverage moves like acrobatics and potentially a fighting type or grand type attack on top of that are likely options that we'll see from this Rillaboom. So getting into game, we're going to start off with some builds that are going to be good going into this raid. Top of everyone's list probably is going to be Annihilate, and for good reason, it is a fighting and ghost type. It has the fighting type to hit the normal type of the Rillaboom for super effective damage, and the ghost typing as well to be immune and have that immunity to any big threatening normal type attacks that could be coming out from the Rillaboom. So for those reasons alone, Annihilate is always good in seven star terror. It's generally, it's had a two week break while Delphox has been around, but it is back and it is gonna be very effective going into this terror raid event. So a lot of you will have Annihilate built in your game already. You might just need to adjust a few things to optimize it for this raid, but gonna be an especially good choice going into this one, I think. Uh, fighting terror type, of course, is gonna be the preferred terror typing on this. Shell Belt is the item choice, so you've got an extra line of recovery on the Annihilate, although you do have recovery through one of its moves, and it is set to level 100 with an EV spread here of 252 attack, 252 defense, and make sure it has that Defiant ability, because like we've said in that preview of the Rillaboom, if it does have something like Screech, you can take advantage of the Defiant ability, where it will lower your defense by two stages, but it will also boost your attack by two stages as well, so you can benefit from any drops that you do get. Uh, the moveset that we've went for is Taunt, Screech, Bulk Up, and Drain Punch. Now, the reason for going for the Taunt is because we're naturally faster than the Rillaboom, so we will be able to get a Taunt off before the Rillaboom starts setting up. If we do see it go for things like Growths or Sword Stance or Bulk Ups or anything like that or Screeches, you're gonna be able to prevent it from doing that as long as the shield isn't up before it can move. So that's a really nice option, I think. I think if we do see something like Sunny Day as well with that growth, then you could replace the taunt with maybe something like Rain Dance to kind of counteract the Sunny Day that is gonna be utilized for that growth. Then we've got Screech as the next option that's gonna be there to lower the defense on that Rillaboom. It's gonna make us a lot more powerful, especially if we can take advantage of the Defiant boosts. And then Bulk Up is gonna be the main thing that we're gonna be concentrating on with the Annihilate, making sure that we are boosting our attack and defense stat, which is gonna help us out primarily against all those physical type attacks that are gonna come out from the Rillaboom in particularly those big grass type attacks that are boosted by the grass terrain. But that is the Annihilate. I do think a very good option if you're wanting to put something together to help you go into this raid when it does drop, I think Annihilate is a very good choice and the reason why we've kind of got it there as that number one choice. But we'll see as and when the Rillaboom raid goes live whether or not the Annihilate build is the most effective. Of course, we do cover that as soon as the raid does drop live. Next option that we've got is Galarian Zapdos, a really nice option. We covered a build exactly like this in the chestnut raid and for similar reasons it's going to be good going into the rillaboom raid as well fighting and flying type as well it's going to have a resist to those grass type attacks it's not going to worry about any ground type attacks either so it has a few things in its favor that it's going to really benefit from going into this raid if we do see some item choices on the rillaboom uh, we have got the shell bell as the line of recovery for the item choice there it is going to be level 100 and fighting terror type on the zapdos and then we have the move set of bulk up taunt thunderous kick and close combat with an ev spread of 252 attack and 252 defense with that defined ability. The basic premise is gonna be getting a taunt off a bit similar to the Annihilate. 
uh, you're going to be able to get the taunt off get a couple of bulk ups off if you want and then you're going to rely on the thunderous kick every time thunderous kick hits into the target pokemon it's going to lower its defense by one stage so every turn that you go forward with the the glaring zapdos using that thunderous kick it is going to mean you're getting more powerful each turn so it could be a really good option as a solo build and then close combat is going to be kind of the option there if you do need a big powerful attack at the end of the raid just get some damage off that you need to kind of close it out but otherwise the glaring zapdos is going to be a great choice going into this one of course like i always say the builds will be down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at them after the video now the next option is going to be lucario we have the shell bell as the held item on here for a line of recovery we've got the fighting terror type and its typing is going to be fighting and steel level 100 of course the big caveat with lucario is if rillaboom does have something like stomping tantrum it could make this a little bit tricky to get set up but we have kit at the ev spread so you're still going to be able to go into this raid and potentially do this solo with just the lucario so the ev spread that we've got on the lucario is 252 hp 252 defense the rest put in special attack with a modest nature and the move set is going to be iron defense metal sound nasty plot and aurora sphere now the reason why we've got 252 evs in hp and defense is because if you have that combination and we see stomp and tantrum from the rillaboom without an iron defense it's doing just under 50 percent hp to this lucario so it means you're going to have room then to get an iron defense off Use a heal share if you need to and then kind of commit to the rest of the strategy if you want to with something like the metal sound and then the nasty plot the metal sound nasty plot combination is very strong metal sound going to reduce the special defense on the rillaboom by two stages every time you use it nasty plot boosting your special attack by two stages every time you use it and then you'll rely on that aurora sphere uh, to do your big damage and especially after you do terastalize with the lucario you're going to be doing really big damage you'll be doing about 50 percent of damage to the Rillaboom uh, if the shield's not up once you are terrestrialized and you've got those three metal sounds three nasty plots up and you're probably only going to need to get like one iron defense maybe two iron defenses off to put you in a good situation where you're going to be able to get the rest of those moves off get your setup off but it will all depend on how the rillaboom interacts in the raid when it shields go up when it nullifies stats on your side of the field when it nullifies stats on its side of the field so these are all things that we have to take in consideration when the raid goes live but as a build primarily the lucario is pretty nice with the ev spread and this moveset it does have the options to potentially do some good work solo going into this raid the next up is Coridon. yes the legendary pokemon fighting and dragon is going to be a great choice going into this raid we've got the fighting terror typing on at level 100 and we've given the item clear amulet you can change that for the shell bell but I feel like the clear amulet's quite nice going into this one with Coridon because if we do see something like Screech from the Rillaboom, that is a big possibility. It does mean that you're going to be immune to any of those defense drops, meaning that you're going to be able to stay on the field a little bit longer with Coridon. Uh, the moveset that we've went for is Sword Stand, Screech, Collision Course, and Drain Punch. Um, and the EV spread is 252 Attack, 252 Defense with an Adamant Nature. The rest just put into HP. But the basic premise of this, like a lot of the other builds, go for those Screeches turn one to turn three get the Rillaboom down to minus six defense, then try and get your sword stance set up. If you're doing this solo, of course, three sword stances and then go for those drain punches to recover any health, do some big damage. And then you've got collision course as well, which is an even more powerful fighting type attack, which is gonna be able to kind of cut through the Rillaboom pretty easy. But Coridon, being a legendary Pokemon as well, gonna be probably able to go against the Rillaboom a lot easier than some of the other choices, but a very, very strong choice to go into this one with. And I think gonna be a, an excellent one to kind of prepare for going into this raid. Next up, we had to mention it. It is gonna be good old Iron Hands fighting and electric typing with the fighting terror type, Shell Bell as the item of choice and the moveset of electric terrain belly drum iron defense and drain punch ev spread of 252 attack 252 defense rest in hp with that cork drive ability the big thing about uh, the iron hands is that it does maybe have that little bit of a weakness to ground type attack moves that the really boom could carry so again 
if we do see stomp and tantrum it could make it a little bit awkward to go in with the the iron hands because it will be getting hit pretty hard from that attack and it's the same for lucario as well and obviously if we do see something like acrobatics these fighting type pokemon are going to have a little bit of a hard time uh, going in against the really because the acrobatics will be double power because it hasn't got a held item uh, but we are going to cover some options outside of just fighting type attacks in a moment so stay tuned for that basic premise of this is you can set the electric train up early on it gives you the quark drive boost it gets rid of boosting the grass type attacks coming out from the Rillaboom uh, then you want to probably prioritize setting up those iron defenses you, you can get one to two iron defenses set up and you're going to be soaking up the attacks from the Rillaboom really easily then put yourself in a good position with your health get the belly drum off and then you're going to be able to throw out those drain punches i do feel like this set could actually do some work against the Rillaboom and iron hands bulky enough as well to be able to take a flurry of attacks uh, coming out from that side of the field so it should be able to kind of compete with it pretty well the ev spread as well maximizes your chances of being able to take those big physical type attacks but the iron hand is going to be something as well that you all have probably built already if you do raids quite frequently so this is a nice option to kind of just tweak a little bit for this particular raid and of course we're going to mention arceus we mentioned it a lot here on the channel so it is going to be another good option going into the rillaboom it is very good it's one of the strongest pokemon in the game that we've got and it's got the attacking options to kind of go in against this and probably make it quite easy you can change your terror typing to fighting as well if you prefer to and uh, that'll just mean your attacks once you are terrestrialized will be doing that little bit extra damage which is always helpful uh basic premise of the move set is going to be recover calm mind acid spray judgment like we've seen many times on the arcus and the ev spread is going to be 252 hp 252 special attack modest nature you can take that hp investment out and just put it all in defense if the rillaboom is primarily just going to be physically attacking uh, if there's no special attacking moves like the boom burst there but having the hp there just for this arcus means that you're kind of covering both bases the physical and the special attacks that could be potentially coming out but the basic premise as always with the other arcus builds that we've had is going to be get those calm minds up as soon as possible get three to six calm minds up boost your special attack special defense up to the point where you're feeling comfortable get three acid sprays off then you can terrestrialize use your judgment and then go to town doing big super effective damage against the rillaboom with the fist placed attached of course as well the final three builds that we've got for today's video the first one we're going to start off with is mew it is a bit of a different build but i think has potential to go in against this rillaboom and do a decent job we've got the shell bell is the held item fighting as the terror typing and level 100 uh, then move set that we've got is going to be nasty plot acid spray iron defense and aurora sphere with an ev spread of 252 hp 252 defense and the rest put in special attack with a modest nature so the basic premise is going to be a lot like the other sets that we've seen uh, we're going to go for those iron defenses off the bat so get three iron defenses up maximize your defense stat then go for your nasty plots boost your special attack by three stages then go for your acid spray which is going to reduce the special defense on the Rillaboom by two stages every time you use it and then just start chucking out those Aurora Spheres that are going to be super effective against that Rillaboom and a special fighting type attack as well which is going to be hitting it for very big damage once you get this setup complete and it also gives you a nice recovery with that Shell Bell item attached. So Mew could be quite a decent option. I think if we see something like knockoff on the Rillaboom it's going to make it a little bit more tricky to deal with because it will have that super effective uh, damage onto the Mew but the chance of it having knockoff are probably a lot more slim than it having something like acrobatics or stomping tantrum i see those move options being a lot more likely than the knockoff but it is still a possibility but something else to consider and of course if we do see something like acrobatics on the rillaboom and it's making it difficult for all of those fighting type attackers to come into this raid then something that's not weak to that acrobatics could be a good option me falls into that category another one i do really like going into this raid is going to be galarian slow bro it has got that poison and psychic typing it is going to resist all of those grass type attacks coming out from the rillaboom of course it does have to worry about things like stomp and tantrum and of course knockoff that it's going to be weak to but if those aren't options on the rillaboom i see slow bro glaring slow bro being probably one of the best options going into this raid 
terror typing should be psychic so make sure you do change that uh the terror typing on the slow brawl to psychic just to maximize the damage when you do terrestrialize leftovers is the option of choice on this slow brawl combined with the grassy terrain that's going to be on the field from the rillaboom once you do start setting up you're going to be able to restore a lot of health quite quickly with both of those things stacking together level 100 of course and then a move set of acid spray iron defense nasty plot and stored power quick draw is the ability on the slow bro here but we don't really need to worry about that too much it's not going to play too much effect here with an ev spread of 252 hp 252 defense and the rest put into special attack with a modest nature basic premise of this move set again a lot like the Mew, we're going to go for those iron defenses turn one to turn three maximize those nasty plot after that three times and then go for three acid sprays at that point you should be able to terrestrialize um, and then the rillaboom as well will be minus three special defense you'll be completely set up and then you're going to be able to terrestrialize into your psychic type and then launch off those big sword powers that are going to be at maximum damage really uh, and you're going to be able to kind of cut through the rillaboom pretty quickly and we know that slow brawl even though this is the Glarian version is pretty good going into seven star terror raid so this one depending on the move choices that the rillaboom boom does have should be able to do a good job against it as well and the final one that we're going to mention today is enamorous yes the new genie pokemon from pokemon legends also so if you've got access to this in your game it could be a good alternative option to go into this raid with especially if like some of the things that we've mentioned so far the acrobatics are problematic for the fighting types stomp and tantrum are problematic for some of the ground weak pokemon that would be good against rillaboom so enamorous kind of doesn't really have the problem of any of those things it doesn't worry about the knockoff either and it does have a nice way to be able to kind of set up snowball a bit like that galarian zapdos we have got the fighting terror type on it of course uh, shell bell is the item of choice so we've got a line of recovery because it doesn't have recovery really outside of that with the move set of taunt misty terrain terror blast and superpower the big important thing for this build in particular is that contrary ability so anytime you take stat drops it actually does it in reverse so you get stat boosts for those so superpower is something that gives you an attack and a defense drop actually activates the contrary so you get an attack and a defense boost every time you use it so you'll be getting stronger every time you use it and getting better defensively which definitely helps out against this physical attacker like the rillaboom and after the superpower because the one drawback with it is it doesn't have a very big amount of pp just make sure you pp max it before going into this raid if you do choose the enamorous and then the terror blast is there after you terrestrialize that you can rely on to get super effective fighting type damage onto the rillaboom once you are set up misty terrain is a nice option for you so if you want to get rid of the grassy terrain to reduce the damage of those grass type attacks you will have the resistance but you've got to remember it will still be hitting pretty hard with that grassy terrain on the field and it cuts off the line of recovery from the rillaboom the taunt is a nice option as well to shut down any setup from the rillaboom you will naturally be faster as well than it and then an ev spread of 252 hp 252 defense with an adamant nature the rest put in attack and i think this set will do really well i think depending on if we see the rillaboom set up early on in this match you can go for that turn one taunt you can go for the turn one misty terrain and then all you want to do is just concentrate on going for the superpowers until you're boosted up up, uh, you can terrestrialize and then you can use either that or the terror blast to start throwing out big damage onto the rillaboom and it could be a quite decent option of course going into this one and that's what we want to do in these raid guides as well we don't want to just give you options that can potentially do well against this raid you've got to look at the wider scope of what the rillaboom can maybe have and throw out some additional options that could potentially be good as well going into this raid and i think we've covered pretty much most of the bases so far of course um, they are all the builds for today's video we will be doing a support builds video later in the week it might be up next week before the raid drops but there are some very spicy pokemon that you can take into this raid they're gonna have a great time supporting disrupting the rillaboom and supporting the rest of the team so you can take online and have a really successful time with into the rillaboom of course we don't know anything concrete yet until the raid event goes live but as soon as it does as always we'll do that preliminary test and then we'll come out with the best solo builds but i do feel if you want to do any preparation going into this build these are some of the best pokemon that you can put together in your game now to kind of get yourself ready to go in
in against this Pokemon. So I hope you found today's video useful. If you have, as always, I do ask a huge favor, just drop a like on the video. And if you don't wanna miss that support video as well as the best solo build when the raid event goes live, do hit that subscribe button so you get the notification when that goes live and you have the easiest time possible going up against this Rillaboom, which I do think will be a pretty difficult raid because Rillaboom, very good defensively, and it's going to be tricky depending on the move choices that it does have. What the Pokemon give it going into the 7 star Terror Raid. The Delphox was tricky and I can see this one being even trickier. But let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Let me know the builds that you're going to be preparing going into this. What Pokemon you think are going to be good against the Rillaboom as well. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then friends, take care of yourself and bye bye.